No matter if they have fur, feathers or holes. Want all to live the life the way they want. They want to be free. They live, want to live and don't want to be food. Any year something like 150 billion animals being brutally executed for food. Something that is totally unnecessary because humans can live on plants only. And there be many that have proved this. From the point of Pythagoras and Seamus, something like uh, 2500 years ago, as Gautama Buddha, just like Jesus Christ rated the Apostle of the Nazareus. And also, the name was Jesus of Nazareth, directly link uh, to the Nazareus and the Pythagoras, followers of Pythagoras. Pythagoras, uh, vegans and vegetarians, been in that time called Pythagoras. Because they are just like the great philosopher Pythagoras, extinct from the consumption of animal products. Just like he have once said, Pythagoras of once have said, as long as man will be the ruthless destroyer of other living beings, there will nothing ha find health or peace. Indeed, the states and states of murder and hate will not enjoy love or peace. All living beings have a central nervous system. All animals be sensuous and aware. All animals want to be left alone, in peace, in happiness, with their kind. And with the ones that they want in their life. All forms of human actions come basically from three sources. First, mouths, as well as the power of the group, and can only lead to can lead to great immorality. This kind of conduct is only justifiable when it being for self-defense or the public and self defense replacement of self defense the defense of we are not innocent then we have ego that controls the mind of the will and of the of their of the lust and only can get to the point of immorality to selfish and to greed in extreme then we have the kind of human conduct basic kind of human conduct that being compassion this is the only true form of moral conduct. Compassion in its purest form can only lead to sympathy for respect to compassion and to morality 
to kindness. And so justice. And so noble noble. A noble life. Hanging in the most upside down on the slaughterhouse floor. That's not compassionful. That's not friendly. That's not nice. It's not nice for them. And you have to watch any situation always from the position of the victims. If you choose right from wrong. Because if you not be the victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock and excuse cruelty, inequality, murder, rape, slavery, and even for, and even murder and torture and faltering and any kind of immoral action. But when you win the victim, no excuse is justifiable for what they do to you. You only want that it stop. And want you not that somebody stand up for your right to be free. Mock you. Mock the victimizers. Say in the face of the victimizers, from how dare you to oppress them. How dare you to think that you be more special than them? How dare you to believe that you have the right to commodify them? How dare you to say that their life don't matter at all? How dare you to turn them in commodities? That's what all revolutionary activists around whole history have done. They have always watched any form of oppression from the position of the victims. Slave liberationists don't look to the eyes of the slave masters. They have looked to the eyes of the slaves. Just like the civil rights activists have also not looked to the eyes of the racist, sexist male. But they have looked to the eyes of the woman. They have looked to the eyes of the victims. So that's what we have to do. If we want to have chains for the animals. We have to watch it from the position of them. And explain why. Just like always. Around the whole history. It be not moral. It be not good. To commodify it. Enslave. And. Oppress. Weaker groups. Might make not right. Because the majority. Want it. The majority of the slave masters. Was not right. The majority of the. Of the um, Heterosexistic men in the, for the civil rights movement, but not right. Just like the of meat eaters, be not right. But think you about this: taking somebody's Isles right to be free away. That's not right. That's immoral. White rights don't go about taking somebody else's right to be free away. That's pretty insane, you think you want? It is your right to do that. It is your right to do that. Yes, that is it. You have a right to decide which you want, but you have not the right to decide to enslave other living beings and view them like commodities. That's the only difference.